Mashallah. I mean, like, not really. We're still walking, and there's a lot of people. Are y'all good? Everybody good? Yeah. <laughs> Keep looking, there's a lot of options. There's so many, I'm so overwhelmed. And I'm also <laughs> so indecisive. <laughs> such a crazy view. 
Hello, so it is day two and thoughts on yesterday. I figured I should check in because Coachella was very overwhelming and underwhelming at the same time. I think like it's hyped up to be so much and obviously like my mind was just kind of racing of like what it would be. So then obviously you have expectations and then sometimes they fall short. I can't even specifically say like what those expectations were, but it was like, yeah, it was overwhelming and underwhelming at the same time. Um, and they were like, you're gonna go through so many different emotions and I did. Um, it's a lot of people, it was less of a shit show than I imagined. Like, I thought it would be like drunk people everywhere. Everyone was just like bumping into you, but everyone was very respectful of each other's space and the music was amazing. It was just like, we were like a little kid like in a candy shop. We just kept like running around from place to place, which is why I'm so tired today. But we went and saw so many different people. We didn't stay for the full set of anything besides uh, the 1975 that was my all-time favorite I think mostly because that's I listened to them a lot in high school So it was just very nostalgic very fun to dance to and then I actually got so tired and so cold that I wanted to go home at like 11 But I knew that day on dear sweet angel here um, He wanted he really 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 wanted to see childish Gambino. I wanted to I just like couldn't I could not tough it out And so I was like, you know what you stay and you enjoy yourself and I will go home and it was really great because I feel like when I was younger, like especially when you're going out to like clubs and stuff and you're like, okay, like I'll rally, but then you're so unhappy, you don't want to be there. So I didn't want to ruin his experience because I didn't want to be there and I also didn't want him to not experience it. So we both went our separate ways. He walked me to the bus, which was really nice. And yeah, we got home safe. So I am pretty excited for day two. I am wearing a full H&M fit right now. I haven't decided if this is what I'm gonna wear to the festival later. I might stay in it, but I also have like another little dress situation, which you guys have seen, before um, in one of my past like clothing hauls when I was like oh my god I don't want to go to a festival so yeah you guys might see that then yeah I got my hair done so cute so I just felt like it was a little too poofy at the bottom um, when my hair is like out and I wanted to contain it so I just like put a bunch of bobby pins in it I don't know if you can see but put a bunch of bobby pins in it to make it like this little updo and now we are headed to a pool party with H&M. So I'm pretty excited. This has been like party after party after party, which I'm not used to. I'm so much of a homebody. Realize how domesticated I am once I got here. But yeah, it's exciting. How are you? How is your experience, B? How are you doing? I have a bad day. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> I don't know if, how I feel about the side tie though. I also don't think you should cover this. He got this done. Yeah. Yeah, cute little, little line. Jaw on. Alrighty. We'll see you soon. Ooh, Michelada. Ooh. Okay, I'll take from you. Okay, there you go. Wait, my shirt, like, Actually, yo, this one matches my hair, so I'll take this one. Awesome. Yes. Cheers, baby. <laughs> Yeah. Oh wow. That I like for so a second cute. I was like, is this like a ball pit where we can jump in? But I'm like, no, that is definitely water over there. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Ooh, Ooh, what is that? A little margarita moment. Oh my god, I love it. We got a vlog happening. Ah uh, yeah? Oh yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Hey. Hey, tell me This is my festival fit for day two. I actually saw somebody wearing this exact same thing yesterday. I don't even care because it's so cute. But I actually love this hair so much. I got so many compliments on it. So thank you, Paige from John Frida, for doing my hair. So, so good. And Alicia at Brush Salon for this color. I've gotten so many compliments. We were like, it's the perfect shade of pink. I've also been going super minimal on my makeup. I'm only wearing like a very small amount of foundation that I just put kind of here for my under eye and the redness around my nose and then on my chin. And then I have some contour, highlight, uh, filled in my brows really lightly with a brow pencil, smudged on a little bit of shimmery pink shadow, 
a little highlighter here, false lashes that I got in yesterday, and lip gloss, and that's pretty much it. It's like actually very, very simple, but my skin is really happy when it's warm out. I think just because I'm like constantly sweating out the impurities, so usually my skin's really dry, so when it's in like really moist, hot environments, then it's really happy, so it looks, I mean, I don't want to wear more makeup than I have to, and I feel like I look pretty good, so yeah, I've been really minimal on the makeup, and I am so excited for Idris Elba today. So yeah, he comes on at 9 p.m. So I think we're gonna stay here for a little bit. It's like four now. So I think we're just gonna like chill, eat. <laughs> put them on i forgot everything i like bring stuff but like my day-to-day -day stuff but you look very cute I remember anything. Thank you. are you happy i brought that back for you <laughs> i was actually gonna bring it anyways all right adidas do over party let's get it The one we were supposed to go to was three days ago, but we're at this one and it's popping. Not an open bar, but still, it's popping. It's our last full day in Palm Springs. So we did go the wrong way. We did go the wrong way. Yeah, we were supposed to go that way. Oh, sick. We were walking around for really like the first time. I feel like whenever we have downtime, we're just in our room just chilling because this is very exhausting for me. I feel like my energy is drained because I'm constantly surrounded by people. Things are happening, very exciting. 
but I get very drained. And We're so in the desert. I just need my downtime. But it is actually so beautiful. I would really like to come here and like unplug here because I think this would be like a good place to do it. Unplug. Unplug. It's so beautiful. The landscape is amazing. The weather is amazing. And my skin really does just like flourish in the sun. Brunch for $20, three courses. That actually is so lit. Leader no, it's, goes so it's like it's tomato, yeah. And then in Vancouver or in Canada, they have scissors, which is like the same, but it's not tomato juice, it's clamato juice, so it's like crab and tomato. Listen to that passion. Yeah. Passion, yeah. Listen to the passion whenever <laughs> she talks about Bloody Marys. This one's tuna. Raw tuna. Oh, it's tuna, yeah. Raw tuna. Yeah. It's a very popular it's French The guy in this car right behind me is Childish Gambino, which is so random. How crazy. But, um, okay, I was gonna vlog and say other things, but now I just can't <laughs> think of what, I, what else. Um, yeah, I intended to come out here and say that we just had the most embarrassing, I had the most embarrassing pregame ever. It was me trying to drink tequila and Dr. Pepper, it was horrendous. And then we walked out and Daniel was like, is that, is that him? And I was like, no, and it probably look looks like, it. like That's We're it. like, it's him. So then we all just walk to the van, which is here, and we all just contemplate whether or not we should say hi to him. Dayon goes, says hi to him. We asked for a photo. I shook um, his hand. I'm never washing yeah, his hand again. Yeah, he was very, again. very, very nice, very soft-spoken. Obviously, I got wanted a photo with him, and I asked him politely. Um, but of course, I totally understand. Man said he's with his yeah. family. You gotta separate business and family, you know? But now we're headed to Coachella day three, the final day. The amount of people here today is insane. Yeah, I know. We just met Ricky Thompson, the great. Very cute. Very amazing. Everything. One of the compliments for us. Everything I ever wanted and more. But it is our last five minutes in this hotel room before so we leave. We are leaving this beautiful place with so many good memories and new friends. And I guess we'll see you guys back in Vancouver.